Hey guys, Irvi here. Today I'd like to talk to you about a common experience I think a lot of people go through when they're on a weight loss journey. And this video is actually inspired by a conversation that took place on one of my Instagram posts yesterday. So I'd like to address it in a video because I think a lot of people may benefit from hearing what I actually have to say about it. Now, first I'm gonna read you the comments that inspired this video and then I'll get into elaborating my views on this matter. First and foremost, just so you know, these are two of my followers and they're very supportive. They always like my images. They always engage in my content. So this is by no means a personal attack. It's just that I disagree with something that was said, but I feel like while I disagree with it, I also believe that the messages were well-intentioned, but I feel like they may be detrimental in the long term. And here is the comments and then I'll explain why I think this. One of my followers, Jen the Brunette, made a comment on my Instagram saying, Hi Irvi Irvi, I've been working out for a month now, eating healthy, and today I stepped on the scale and I weighed the same. I do feel better and smaller, but the scale is playing with my head. So discouraged. Now I went on to give her a long answer as to what I thought was actually the problem, but then uh, after that I saw another comment that was made by somebody else. And the comment said, that was happening to me last year. I decided to ban the scale for three months and just listen to how my body felt and how my clothes fit. Best decision ever. Dropped about 10 pounds and it motivated me even more. Keep at it and don't let the scale get to your head. Now, while I do truly believe that this comment was well-intentioned, I actually don't agree with it because fat loss is ultimately a numbers game and you need to know where you are in order to know where you're going and how to get there. I'm going to give you a simple analogy for this. If I say to you, meet me at the mall, you're going to ask yourself, okay, well, what time and where? Because if there's seven malls in the city, you're going to be running around like a chicken without a head trying to find me. So. Ultimately, you need certain key pieces of information in order to achieve your ultimate goal, right? So similarly, when it comes to fat loss, you need to know your starting point. You need to know your daily calorie requirements. And then you need to be able to weigh yourself and measure yourself in order to properly track your progress. And I always stress to do all these things together because sometimes you may not be able to rely on the scale and sometimes you may not be solely able to rely on the measurements, especially if you're weightlifting. So you got to do all of these things together, including tracking food in order to achieve fat loss success. Now she said she hadn't made progress on the scale in a month, but she was feeling better and feeling smaller, which are two positives. And ultimately not seeing numbers change on a scale isn't a negative either. It just means you're not doing something right. Either your body's really taking its time to adjust to your new lifestyle, or you're eating just enough food to maintain instead of lose fat. As I said, fat loss is a numbers game and numbers don't lie. Um, it comes down to calories in and calories out. If you have too many calories, you're gonna gain weight. If you have just enough, you're gonna maintain. And if you're in a deficit, you're going to lose. It's that simple. And this is why weighing yourself and measuring yourself and tracking your food intake are really the only three things you need to be doing in order to achieve success because you need to track your progress so you know when something isn't right so you can adjust it. Putting away the scale and just burying your head in the sand essentially is not going to do you any favors. A lot of people quit for this reason because they feel like they're putting in a lot of effort but they don't see the results that they're expecting. There's nothing wrong with the scale. There's nothing wrong with the measuring tape. It's just that you're not doing something properly. And instead of adjusting your behaviors and actions, you just wanna remove the scale. To me, that's not gonna cut it. And I'm not someone that likes to pacify people. I don't like to just ignore the problem. To me, it's okay, what are you dealing with? What do you need to do to adjust and tweak so you can actually get the results that you want? If you want to be pacified, you've come to the wrong place. If you want to be enabled, you've come to the wrong place. I'm here to tell you that if you track, meaning you weigh yourself, you measure yourself, and you track your food intake, you are guaranteed success. It's really that simple. Eliminating the scale, eliminating one of your tracking or measuring tools isn't going to do anything other than set you back, cause you to get frustrated, 
And then you'll truly have something to be disappointed about or something to be discouraged about. But if you're doing things and you're not seeing results, instead of feeling disappointed or discouraged, I implore you to just say, okay, what can I do at this point in order to fix this? But let me tell you this much. You will see your numbers go up and down on the scale, maybe even in your measuring. Absolutely. The body uh, is very fluid and it changes all throughout the month, especially for females due to hormones, maybe even your eating habits. You know, if you have too much sodium, you're going to retain more water and so on and so forth. I always stress weigh and measure yourself on the same day before you eat after you go to the bathroom first thing in the morning. Pick a day and every week take these measurements. And some weeks you won't see changes and that's okay. Sometimes that's just the body being stubborn. Sometimes you're gonna see results in the scale or the measurement that's gonna blow your mind away. It's gonna change, but ultimately, if you're staying at the same spot for too long, it means you're doing something wrong. Either you're not eating properly, you're not weighing yourself consistently on the same time every week, and you gotta adjust that. So if you want a success, you need to set yourself up in order to do that. And that means tracking your progress properly, consistently. And when you do this, you will also be more consistent and accountable. And that's actually going to ultimately lead you to weight loss. Putting away the scale to me is just burying your head in the sand. Uh, I don't agree with it. And as I said, although I believe that this comment was really well intentioned, I think it just serves the purpose of us turning a blind eye to reality. And that doesn't work when it comes to fat loss if you want to achieve true and lasting success. Again, your scale, your measuring tape, your food tracking apps, these are all tools. And the more tools you have in your bag, the better and the sooner you're gonna get your task at hand accomplished. So make sure that you're tracking your progress and make sure that you have a defined goal and ultimately, just because you don't see changes, that doesn't mean you should be discouraged. If anything, you should take that as an opportunity to see, okay, what can I do in order to fix this? Because if you don't, you'll fall back onto your old habits and that's where we don't wanna go. So be honest with yourself about your current state. Is it because you aren't putting in the effort? Is it because you're not eating the right foods? Because let me tell you, sometimes people will take on a, a weight loss journey and they'll go to the gym, they'll tire themselves out, and they'll think that they're eating healthy, but they lose sight of the fact that even healthy food has calories, and those things over time add up. So you may be eating healthier, but perhaps you're eating at just enough calories that you're maintaining your weight. Maybe that's why the scale is not moving. Uh, maybe you are measuring yourself inconsistently. So instead of doing it at the same time, on the same day, under the same conditions, if you're doing it, you know, like one day in the morning and one day at night, you're not gonna get consistent results. So give yourself a set schedule of when you weigh yourself and measure yourself and track your progress. It's simple as that. And if you do this and if you eat in a caloric deficit, so meaning less than the daily required amount of calories, you will be successful. Don't turn a blind eye to something you don't like. Confront it, adjust your actions towards it, and I promise you will have weight loss success. If you'd like more information about calories, please check out my calories video that I made. It gives you in-depth information on the subject of calories. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. And of course, follow me on Instagram where I post daily motivation. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you back here shortly. Bye.